Welcome to Houston, Texas and Minute Maid Park. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Round Rock Express and the Sugar Land Space Cowboys. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. Well, Singy, this ballpark's still among the game's best. When the roof is open, it feels like an outdoor ballpark. And then you have the shade and the cool when the roof is closed. Yeah, and formerly Towles Hill out there in center. You still have the Crawford boxes in left, a unique setback in left center field, which causes the left fielders to have to play differently. But there is a lot of character to this place. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now. And on the hill today, Phil Maton. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, last year, kind of around the league average in terms of ERA. And you know what? That's why you have five different spots in the starting rotation you've got to have people round things out and not everyone's going to pitch like a number one or number two every outing or every season but last year he gave his team an opportunity and a chance to win every time he took the mound on average and when you look at that kind of performance it has a place on every ball club at the belt and fires fights it off you'll see another The one two spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another the one two foul ball left side he'll see another Fights that one away, still one and two. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. One and two here. That's Bolton. Slider misses outside. Line drive, caught! All right, let's take a look at the lineup. The sluggers in this lineup might not be too happy about the fact that the wind is blowing in today, Chris. Yeah, and you hear pitchers talk about how good it feels when the wind is at their back. And for hitters, you almost feel like beyond just the pitcher coming at you, you've got this other force coming against you. So important to try to get on top of the ball in terms of hitting line drives, you know, maybe really hard ground balls with a good exit velocity that'll get you a base hit because it's very frustrating. You just hit one on the screws, think it's going to go out of the ballpark, and a guy is camped underneath it in front of the warning track. One down, base is empty. And another ball. Ripped to third and caught. Out of third. The center field. Rafael. Two outs, base is empty. Rafael Ortega stands in. The next offering misses and a count two and one. The pitch. And downstairs. Oh, 
swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Three two now. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one two three. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Back here in Houston, today's starting pitcher, Owen White. What do you look for here? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. This one smoked out to left. Makes the grab. One down. Take a look at the lineup. So digging in, David Hensley. And now it's one and two. On the ground to third. Young tossed the first. And the home first moving along quickly today. Two gone. The center fielder. And stepping in is the speedy Jake Myers. Two RBIs last night. Two of the three runs they scored in the game. Here's a 1-1. Swings through that. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. On to the second inning now from Minute Maid Park. No score. Back here in Houston, all set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. Young. The one-one is fouled off. One, two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Here's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. Kicks and fires. Good eye right there. Here comes a pitch. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. Already that three strikeouts here in the early the part of this start, so I think the guys further down in this Damn. lineup might need to take huh. notice, take some notes, share some information. Got to bring a better plan to the plate or else it's going to be a really difficult game. Disrupt this pitcher. Do something to get him out of his rhythm. Here's the catcher, Sam Huff, known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Two outs. A little bit low. Two balls, one strike. And a 2 1 on the way. That clips the corner. That's excellent location on the fastball right there early in this game. If he can do that all game, should be a good outing for him. That's towards center. And it falls. And that keeps the inning going. Batting seven. 
when you flare a ball out behind second base it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to and you're never trying to do that as a hitter but when you do I tell you what you're yelling at it the entire way to get down and now the DH Justin Foscu swings and misses one and two Good eye right there. Huff off of first with two away. Three two now. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Yoshi Tutugo in the on deck circle. Three and two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Strikes out number three. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. Now to the bottom of the second. We're tied. Nothing, nothing. We head to the bottom of the second. To the batter now, J.J. Matajevic. The first base J.J. Matajevic. And the pitch. And a count one and two. Hey. Got him. And quickly one away in the second. Batty. 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 Justin Batty. Durden Batty. will hit next. Durden. The 2 2 on the way. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Just missed. Really good take, especially with two strikes. to right center base hit and that's going to roll to the wall makes the turn and heads for second and he pulls in with a double for his first hit of the year he was all over that one and man I'll tell you a line drive like that into the gap just feels so good it's feedback that you have everything on time and in control from start to finish with your swing runner in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game One out, runner at second. Joe Perez, the next to hit. Two hits in the game last night. And at second. In the air, right field. Jankowski makes the grab, and there's two gone. Batting seven. The right field. Madrid. So two down now, and here is Bly Madris. Pitch misses there. Two and one. Line drive, base hit. Durden around third. He will score, and it's one nothing. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Great hands on that swing. Took the barrel right to the baseball, caught it out front, and ripped it into the gap. At that point, there's probably no question in his mind that he was going for two. That's just a great feeling. Pedro Leon digs in now. And ball four to a board. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. So two on with two away. 
And now the catcher comes up to him. Martin Maldonado. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Got him. Good job at damage control right there. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a one nothing ball game. Top half of the third inning, and now the first baseman, Yoshi Tsutsugo. Yoshi Tsutsugo. The count two and one. There's a strike. And yeah, that's outside. Pitch. That one out to right. Madris snags it on the run. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. And here is Jonathan Ornelas. Drove in their only run in last night's game. The 1-1. One -one. And it's fouled away. The one two off the outside edge and now the count is two and two. Now all leave it up. Struck him out swinging. Had him way out front of the slur. Been a pretty rough start to this series for him at the plate. Three strikeouts in the first game yesterday. Another one right there. They clearly got a great plan for how to deal with this guy right now. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's the right fielder, Travis Jankowski. Ball to strike. And that one hammered way back there. And that one's gone. A towering shot to right, and we are starting over. It's 1-1. One, one. Really great job of anticipation there. He knows he throws the sinker. That one down in the zone. You're trying to beat it to the spot it's getting to. Well, he won. So two away with nobody on. Here's the left fielder, Josh Smith. The 2-1. Good That's eye in that spot. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So all down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. 1-1 one, one now. In the air, left side. Number 26, under it. He makes the grab, and the inning is over. Just one hit in the inning, but it was a big one right here as it ties the ball game. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Ready to go for the last Here half of the inning. The now the left fielder, field. number 26. No left He's field. someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Caught him looking for the K. Oh, nice job right there. He struck him out twice. The pitch now, before yeah, looked like it was strike three. Doesn't get the call. Bears down. Throws another quality pitch for the strikeout. So up next, David Hensley. He's over one. 
Here's a 1 1. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. And that's a base hit into left field. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that certainly feels good when you can win the at bat after being down in the count, up against it with two strikes right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Hensley over at first with one away. Ground ball could be two. The underhand flip. Duran to second. Throw to first, but he beat it. And it's going to wind up out of play. Well, he hung in there at second to get the out, but the return throw to first was way offline. And I have to think the runner coming in the second had a part in that. You can't assume the double play, but because the batter moves up past first, he does get charged with the throwing error right there. J.J. Matajevic now at the plate. Caught looking his first time up. The 1-1. One -one. And that one wrapped foul. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning. He's in a tough spot. Had to make a great pitch. Did it. Got the strikeout. Gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Back here at Minute Maid Park. New inning getting started. Here's Josh Young. It's a leadoff walk, and that's the go-ahead run. And here is Ezekiel Duran. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Pro save. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. The pitch. Action in the pen down there. Sean Dubin up and loosening in the pen. Whitley getting loose as well. Next offering is downstairs. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Got it by him for the K. Not too often you're going to see a sub-90 mile per hour fastball get by a hitter for the strikeout, especially when it's in a very hittable location like that. Makes me think... He's either looking for something else completely or he tried to do way too much that swing. Now the catcher up to hit. Sam Huff. One for one with a single so far. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Manager out of the dugout, and he's going to make a change. Phil Maton, done for the day, and not his finest start. Never really looked comfortable out there. We'll have a new pitcher on the mound when we get back. Pitching change here, Sean Dubin. He's making his second appearance of the season. Number 75, Sean Dubin. 
Justin Foscue will hit next. Struck out swinging his first time. And a pitch. And a count one and two. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. And a one-two. And this is inside. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Hard hit, base hit. Runner from third comes across. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it in the center for the knock. Those always feel good. Yoshi Tutugo getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He flat out to right this first trip. The 2 1. Ripped on a line. Madris makes the grab for the second out. Man, that's one of those at-bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at-bat. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jonathan Ornelas. The 1-1. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Two on, two outs. Next offering is outside. Ball out there on the mound. He's got to go right after this hitter because you don't want to turn this lineup over. This is the guy that you've got to get that final out, get out of this inning. That one's in there. That is strike two. The 3-2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now, that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So the lineup flips over. Travis Jankowski digs in now. On the ground, right side, sneaks through, base hit. One runs in, the second run scores. Up by three, it's four to one. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. So two down, now the number two hitter, Josh Smith. Next offering is in for a strike. Just missed. Ornelas over at second. Jankowski on at first with two down. And that one is inside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. So now three and two, and they're all loaded up. You get a walk, and you get a walk. Everyone gets a walk. <laughs> Base is full, two gone. Here's the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. And here it comes. Foul ball still a one and two count. Base is loaded, two down. And he hits a ground ball right side. Tosses to first. They limit the damage here. So they get three runs in the inning, but they also leave the bases loaded. To the bottom of inning number four now. The Express had the lead, four to one. And welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Justin Durden. Justin Durden. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And there's one away. 
Now batting, Joe Perez, the next to hit. Flied out his first time. And a pitch. Nope. Oh, great stop. Gathers and throws, and that's a great play for the out. Now I wasn't sure if he was going to get to this one or not. Had to go a pretty good way there in the shallow right field. But then after that, it's a tough angle after you square up your shoulders to throw to first base. Not the normal position, but a really good job defensively right there. At the play, Bly Madris. And that one off the outside edge. And a 2-2. High fly ball out towards left field. Smith ranging back to the warning track. Makes the catch. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. The one one. That one hey, missed. One you know, this group of hitters really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, yeah. get him out of the game before he settles in. So <laughs> I'd say yeah. mission accomplished. Hey. Struck him out looking. No, just couldn't pull the trigger on the fastball right there. And I don't think he was taking it, thinking it might be a called ball or anything. I just think he was flat out frozen. Did not expect that location, in my opinion. Ball to strike. The pitch. And that one pulled foul. The next, next pitch misses. It's two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he reaches safely. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Man at first. Here's the catcher, Sam Huff. Slice down the right side. And he deals. Got him looking. He's got to be frustrated with that call. Felt definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. So now the DH spot, Justin Foscue. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. Yeah, the right hander deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. We head to the bottom of the fifth, and the batter will be the shortstop, Pedro Leon. Face Cowboys. The shortstop, Pedro Leon. And one and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen, Cody Bradford, the left-hander, up and throwing. Hearn warming up as well. One, two now. And now two and two.
And now two and two. Gets a piece and stays alive. And it's filled Thank up. You. Out to short, Ornelas on the run, throw to first, throw is high and over his head. And he's going to make it up to second base as that's a two-base error. Well, it's been a struggle on offense for them in this one, so maybe that wakes them up a little bit. You know, an error can certainly give the opposing lineup something to get excited about. you got somebody on base, so we'll see if they can make something of it. Martin Maldonado up to hit. He's 0 for 1. And a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. No outs, runner on second. Swings and misses, struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. So the batting order turns over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, number 26. They say it went. One ball, two strikes. Runner at second here, one gone. Can't grab it cleanly. Here comes Leon. He scores, and it's now a two-run game. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Now it's the second baseman, David Hensley. Here comes a 3-2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away now. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jake Myers. The 1-1. One, one. That one fouled off. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. And down on strikes he goes. And the inning is over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 4-2. You're dialed into the show. Back here in Houston, top six. And here's the first baseman, Yoshi Tsutsugo. Yoshi Tsutsugo. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. Righty delivers, and that's ball four. Well, interesting, he went with the off speed the right and right walked the hitter. Right. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's a speed threat, Travis Jankowski. He blasted one out earlier in the third. Just a solo home run, but an important swing of the bat in this game. We've already seen him do it once. Can he do it again? Runner, runner, runner. Runners on the move. 
swing and a miss. Throw the third, and he's out. Ornelas, the runner at second with one away. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Outside. Bounced out to short. Sends it to first. That's out number two. Now back left field. Josh Smith. Josh Smith now at the plate. The 3-2 oh, oh. is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, a good day for the on-base percentage right there. Walk now, number now, three, now. and the, the free bags three. keep on Rafael. coming. You down with OBP, boo? Ortega. And now the center fielder, Rafael Ortega. And there's a the ball. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Left hand batter waits. There's a swing and a miss. Two balls, two strikes. And that misses off the outside edge. Josh Young waiting for a turn at the plate. Right handed reliever. Bases. One runs in. Smith headed for the plate. He'll score as well. It's 6-2. Got to be feeling great about that double. Big spot, and he drives in two. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. Forrest Whitley gets handed the rock out of the pen. This is his third time out this year. Whitley. And now, Josh Young. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next pitch in the dirt, and the count is two and two. Runner at second, two down. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. And down on strikes. That's out number three. So it's two runs on one hit, no errors, and one man left. On to the bottom of inning number six. The Express with the lead, six to two. Back down for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Cody Bradford. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now the first baseman, J.J. Matajemic, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The wind to kick the pitch. And now 1 and 2. Two strikes. The wind of the pitch. That one is upstairs. And another ball.
stays alive. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Now bat. And next is the designated hitter, Justin Durden, one for two. The two one. Check swing, and it's popped off. Makes the catch. And there are two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Two outs, base is empty. Now the third baseman, Joe Perez. Next one misses. And the count is even, two and two. Movement in the bullpen, Cole Wynn appears to be getting ready and I'm sure he's feeling some nerves this would be his major league debut here's a 2-2 fights it off he'll see another and now the lefty fouled off the plate they'll do it again The line of the pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Ground ball to the right side, and it goes just foul. On the ground to short to first and that is the inning back here at the ballpark we go to the top of the seventh here's the second baseman Ezekiel Duran the second baseman Ezekiel Duran Here's a 1-1. That one is absolutely belted. Back there. And that ball is gone. So he leaves the yard to left. And they add a run. It's 7-2. Well, he put a Really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Sam Huff will hit next. There's a strike. Got him swinging. Well, you see him trying to pull that inside pitch right there, and that's not the kind of approach now, that you want to have. Even if you do get to it, it's going to be very difficult to keep it fair. You're just going to make it a long strike at best. You have to be able to stay within the baseball on the inside of that path to it, and that way, if you're a little quick, the ball gets hit hard somewhere, and it's not foul. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away down. Now back the first base, Yoshi. Two outs, base is empty. Yoshi Tutsugo digs in now. And the righty deals. Foul ball. One and two now. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. At the belt and fires. 
In the air out to center. Myers on the move. Makes a nice run of catch. And that's the third out. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's 7-2. Back after this on the show. Back here at Minute Maid Park. And now the right fielder, Bly Madris. That's in there. Two balls, two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. And now it's three, three and two. two The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, looking for a swing and miss right there, or for the ump to help him out and make a call with that last pitch, but neither happened. Not close pitch, but a good take to earn that walk. And that one fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. 2-2. Two -two. Way high. Count is three and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. On the ground, two ball. One at second. Back to first, double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. Martin Maldonado, the next to hit. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. And makes the grab. And that is that. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Eighth inning coming up. The Express have the advantage 7-2. to two. We go to the eighth. Now it's the shortstop, Jonathan Ornelas. The shortstop, Jonathan Ornelas. Next pitch off the play. The count now two and two. Bullpen activity starting up now. Seth Martinez getting loose out there. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Lead off man is out here in the eighth. Simply said, this guy's flailing at the plate right now. Just disconnected from head to toes in terms of the sink of his body. That's his fifth strike out of the series, and we're just two games in. So hoping to see some kind of adjustment out of him. His at-bats are just a little tough to watch right now. Next pitch is outside. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay throw. In there safely. He quickly went from hitter to base runner. Love when guys make that transition. And he's got speed to put on a show. Digging in, Josh Smith. Has some trouble with it. To first, and he beats it. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Stepping in, Rafael Ortega. In there at the knees, and the count, one and two. Oh. 
Smith leads off first with one away. That one ran inside, almost got him. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 2 2. Him looking, that's a strikeout. Well, I can't argue with that one, and clearly he was looking for something else, anything but the breaking John. ball. It's a great pitch no. to hit right there if you're looking for it, and kind of a gift at a two strike count. But sometimes you just get fooled and you got to tip your cap. Kicks and fires lined, and that's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on, and two out right there does a great now job of staying in the big part of the field man there are a lot of hits there the new pitcher in the game Seth Martinez I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard just doesn't have the same intensity to it but he's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats obviously regardless of the score now it's the second baseman Ezekiel Duran he's already homered here in this one Two outs. Just missed. Two one. First and second. Two down. Swing and a miss. And now two and two. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. They get a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Express on top eight to two. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Here's the left fielder, number 26. The pitch. Check swing. He went. And the count one and two. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Now one away. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. Activity in the bullpen. Joe Barlow, the hard-throwing righty, is up and loosening. Now fly ball to right center. Ortega makes a move towards the gap. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Throw to second, not in time. He's there easily. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. One down. Here's the center fielder, Jake Myers. Bounce to the right. Duran gathers and throws to first. And there's two down. The bat, the first base. And next will be the cleanup hitter, J.J. Matichemic. And this is a big opportunity for him to pick up his teammate right here. Hensley on third with two out. Next pitch misses, and it's two and one.
Left hand hitter waits. Fouls one off. Two and two. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. And now it's filled up. Runner at third, two away. And it's ball four. He missed down low. That's a nice at bat and a great take on three two. Probably could have gone either way in that spot around the knees. Now it's the DH, Justin Durden, one for three. Runners on first and third, two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. And that ends the inning. This one pretty well decided at this point. Ninth inning coming up. The Express on top here, eight to two. And welcome back. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the catcher, Sam Huff. The pitch. That one ripped left field. And he brings it in on the warning track. Next is the designated hitter, Justin Foscu. Here's a 1 1. And a foul ball. And a ball <laughs> evens the count. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Parker Mashinsky is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. The pitch. That misses. And now it's three and two. Chopper right side. On to first. Two up, two down. Now back the first baseman, Yogi Satsuko. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Yoshi Tsutsugo. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Got it by him for the K. Three up, three down for him there. One more shot coming up. Bottom of the ninth on deck. The Express lead it eight to two. Back here in Houston. Now at the plate, Joe Perez. The third baseman, Joe Perez. Ball on a strike. Ball two. If I can't play around with him here, it's a six-run lead strike. at this point. Got to attack hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. That one fouled off. Two and two. Here comes a pitch. Hard hit, right side. Two, two go. He's Takes out. it himself. One out. Bottom of the nine. The right fielder, number sixty-six. Madrid. Now it's the right fielder, Bly Madrid.
The wind and the pitch. Fouls one off. Two and two. And the pitch. Hey. He goes down looking. Well, that's great execution of the pitch right there and the battery working together. Catcher does a nice job to present that to the umpire and get that call third strike. So it's their last chance in this one. And now Pedro Leon. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And that is the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Guys can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families, and that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. 8-2 the final here for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Our final line first, first for the Victorious, Victorious Express. Express. Eight, Eight runs, runs on 11, 11 hits. hits. Two errors, they, they left nine, nine runners, runners on base. base. For the Space Cowboys, two runs on five hits. No errors, they left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 18 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.